dear students today we will solve few numericals based on open bill drive and cross bill drive so let's start so before going to solve few numerical on open bill bill drive and cross bill drive let's try to understand few terminology which are essential for solving a bill drive problem that is the velocity ratio the ratio between the velocities of the driven and the driver is known as velocity ratio so velocity at the driver end is suppose v1 which is given by pi d1 n1 divided by 60 so d1 n1 is a diameter and the speed of driver similarly that of driven v2 is equal to pi d2 n2 divided by 60 where d1 uh, d2 and n1 uh, n2 are diameter and the speed in rpm for the driven assuming assuming there is no slip between the belt and the pulley then velocity for the driver and the velocity for the driven must be equal so under these circumstances you will get n2 divided by n1 is equal to d1 divided by d2 that is speed in rpm for driven divided by speed in rpm for driver is equal to diameter of the driver divided by diameter of the driven if you consider t small t be the thickness of the belt then you have to add thickness in each diameter so velocity ratio which is given by vr is n2 divided by n1 is equal to d1 plus t divided by d2 plus t where t is the thickness of the bill let's talk about the effect of slip on the velocity ratio the term slip is defined as relative motion between the belt and the pulley so small s1 suppose percentage of slip between the driving pulley and the belt and d1 n2 n1 d1 n1 diameter and speed of driver small s2 suppose percentage of slip between the driven pulley and the belt and d2 n2 are the diameter and the speed of driven now velocity of the belt passing over the driver per minute we are considering here per minute so v1 will be equal to pi d1 n1 here divided by 60 is not required because we are considering per minute minus due to slip there will be a loss of velocity so due to slip how much amount of velocity loss it is it is the velocity into s1 divided by 100 that is the percentage so after simplification you will get pi d1 n1 into 1 minus s1 divided by 100 similarly for the driven v2 we can find out similarly pi d2 n2 bracket close 1 minus s2 divided by 100 where s2 is the percentage of slip between the driven pulley and the belt so velocity ratio this is vr velocity ratio n2 divided by n1 will be d1 plus my divided by d2 1 minus s1 100 into 1 minus s2 100 now s1 plus s2 if, if you combine this one you will get d1 d2 into 1 minus s1 plus s2 divided by 100 now let's consider that uh, s is the total percentage of the slip that is a combination of summation of s1 plus s2 then 
your derivation will be d1 plus d d1 divided by d d2 1 minus s divided by 100 here if you consider the thickness of the belt then velocity ratio will be n2 divided by n1 into d1 plus t divided by d2 plus t1 t into 1 minus s divided by 100. Now let's talk about the creep of the bill. So at first what is creep of the bill? During the rotation of the bill drive there is an expansion on the bill on the tight side and contraction of the bill on the slack side. Due to this uneven expansion and contraction of the belt over the pulley, there will be a relative movement or motion of belt over pulleys, which is called creep of the belt. So if you consider the creep of the belt in account for the velocity ratio, then scenario will be n2 divided by n1 is equal to d1 divided by d2 into E, Young modulus of belt material plus root over sigma 2 divided by E plus root over sigma 1. So here D1, D2 are the diameter of the driver and driven. N1, N2 are the speed of driver and driven. Sigma 1, Sigma 2 are the stresses in the belt on tight side and the slack side. As you know, and E, E is the Young modulus of the Young modulus of the bill material. So as you know, so if I consider one open bill drive like this is your suppose driver, this is your driven, it will be like this. So this lower portion is called tight side, this is called T1 and upper portion is called slack side. So this is your tight, this is your slack sides. Okay. Now let's talk about the length of an open bell drive. So this is the typical diagram of a open bell drive. This is your driver, this is your driven the upper portion as I told you this is slack sides this is suppose denoted tension in the slack side suppose is T2 and lower portion is called tight side is this tension in the lower side is suppose T1 and distance between these two pulleys from the center is suppose X and diameter uh, and the diameter of the driver pulley is D1 then there is uh, then the radius of the Diver pulley will be suppose R1 and for the driven is R2. So, length of the bell for the open bell drive will be pi into R1 plus R2 back at close plus twice x. x is the distance between the two pulleys plus R1 minus R2 whole square divided by x. An angle of contact angle of contact this is the alpha is the angle of contact here is 1 minus r uh, r1 minus r2 divided by x this is the typical diagram of a cross bell drive so cross bell drive this is your tight side this is your slack side the angle of contact is this one here alpha distance between the two pulleys x Radius of the driver is R1. Radius of the driven is suppose R2. So here length of the bell for the cross bell drive will be pi R1 plus R2 back at close plus twice x which is the distance between the two pulleys plus R1 plus R2 whole square divided by x. An angle of contact this is angle of contact alpha sine alpha is r1 plus r2 divided by x r1 plus r2 divided by x now if you observe here 
difference between the cross belt and the open belt is that same formula only only difference you will find here this is minus this one is also minus for angle of contact so let's talk about the power transmission by the belt power transmission by the belt suppose p is equal to t1 minus t2 into velocity this is the linear velocity of the belt v is the linear velocity of the belt and t1 t2 are the tension on the tight side and the slack side of the belt so what is tight side and slack side is already discussed in the diagram itself so let's try to solve one numerical so find the length of the bell necessary to drive a pulley of 80 cm diameter running parallel at the distance of 12 meters from the driving pulley of diameter 480 cm so all are given in the uh, so here driver pulley is 480 cm driven pulley is 80 cm so diameters are given and distance between the two pulleys are 12 meter and in this particular problem what happened whether this arrangement of the pulley or belt is cross belt is cross or open is not given so we solve the length of the belt drive for both open and cross drive so in that particular problem driver diameter of the driver pulley d1 is 480 cm so let's so, so radius r1 will be 240 cm for the driven diameter of the driven d2 80 cm so radius r2 will be 40 cm and distance between the two pulleys driver and driven is 12 meter this meter let's convert into cm so it is 1200 cm now for the open bell drive formula as you know pi r1 plus r2 plus twice x plus r1 minus r2 whole square divided by x if you put the value of r1 r2 and the x in that above equation you will get length of the open bell drive will be 3312.9 cm so in terms of meter roughly you can say 33.13 meter so let's find out the length of the bell for the cross bell drive so for the cross bell drive formula is pi r1 r2 plus twice x plus r1 plus r2 whole square divided by x similarly you put the value of r1 r2 and x in the above equation you will get the result which is equal to 3344.9 hcm so let's convert this one into meter that is roughly 33.45 meter and if you observe here for the cross bell drive length is little bit more as compared to the open bell drive now this is the next problem find the length of the belt required for the driving of two pulleys in a cross bell drive of 600 mm and 300 mm diameter when 3.5 meter apart take the thickness of the belt as 5 mm so in that particular problem at first you have to check it is a cross bell drive then driver pulley diameter is given 600 mm driven pulley diameter is given 300 meter and here you have to consider the 5 mm as a thickness so effective <coughs> diameter of the driver that is d1 will be 600 plus 
five five is for the thickness of the thickness of the belt so it will became 605 mm so let's convert in this one into meter so 0 0.605 meter so radius will be 0 0.3025 meter r1 so r2 that is 300 plus 5 that is 305 mm convert into 0 0.0, 0 point uh, three zero five meter so radius r2 will be point one five two five meter and distance between the two pulleys is three point five now as you know the formula l is equal to pi r1 plus r2 plus twice x plus r1 plus r2 whole is square divided by x and if you put the value respective value for r1 r2 and x you will get the result it's nearly about 8.488 meter so this is the result after considering after considering the thickness of the build i hope you understand how to solve length of a open and cross build drive stay safe Thank you very much.